Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Accese suprememastertv.com barra schedule. We can help by sincere prayer, but we must be enlightened. We must be connected with this God power of us. And then whatever we think will come true. Whatever we want will come true. Please stay with us to find out more. Supreme Master Chun Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's program will be presented in Dutch and English with subtitles in Arabic, Alexis, also known as Vietnamese, Chinese, Dutch, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Thai, Turkish, and Urdu. If you visit the Netherlands, you will be greeted with Goedendag. It means good day in Dutch. I am Amber. The amazing Dutch people know that you are truly precious. May you shine brightly in God's light. The Netherlands is a northwestern European country with an ocean coastline and many inland lakes, rivers, and canals. The country is renowned for flowers like the Dutch tulip, as well as daisies, buttercups, and purple heather. Annual flower festivals abound. Among the most famous is an event held at the Keukenhof Tulip Gardens near the capital city Amsterdam. Every autumn, skilled artisans plant more than 7 million bulbs. The following spring, beautiful blooming flowers delight the eye with some 800 different types of tulips. To manage its coastal geography and extensive sea level terrain, engineers in the Netherlands have designed an ingenious network of canals, levees and pumping stations. Having become a world leader in water management and flood control, the Netherlands often shares this expertise with other countries. Conserving wildlife is also a national priority, with several nature sanctuaries that have been designated to protect ancient trees, plants, birds and other animals. In the country's largest national park, the Hoge Veluwe, over a thousand free-to-use wild bicycles are available for enjoying the area's natural beauty. A wondrous artistic legacy also enriches any experience of the Netherlands. The works of revered Dutch painters such as Rembrandt, Vermeer and Vincent van Gogh can be appreciated in museums throughout the country. During her 1999 European lecture tour, Supreme Master Ching Hai accepted the invitation of sincere truth aspirants to visit this remarkable country and share God's wisdom and love. Please enjoy part 5 of the question and answer section of the following enlightening lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai, Experience Heaven on Earth, given in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, on May 9, 1999. How to reconnect with the sound of God inside, and to do that? I'll show you later. Ik zal het later laten zien. Staat de toekomst van de aarde vast? Is the future of our earth fixed? 
No, it's not. Nee, het is niet. We can uh, make it better, we can make it worse. We kunnen het beter maken of slechter. Because uh, we have the power to change. Want we hebben de kracht om het te veranderen. But only if we know how to get that power. Maar alleen als we weten hoe die kracht uh, te hebben. If everyone does not do anything about our inner power and just stay the way they are, then the future of the world is fixed. But if some of us try to do it better, try to know the secret of the universe and try to make use of the God power within us, then we can change the future of the planet. Als niemand zijn innerlijke kracht gebruikt, dan staat de toekomst van de aarde vast. Maar als we willen veranderen en onze innerlijke kracht uh, gebruiken, dan kan de toekomst veranderd worden. Gebaringen van op mijn vragen, als openbaringen op mijn vragen. Very often I hear God speak, but sometimes I doubt if it is God's voice. Sometimes I get visions as answers uh, for my questions. How can she know if it is God's voice? That's why I will show you how to verify it. You But see, that's why I ask you uh, that uh, you get a proper instruction so that you will not be lost in spiritual world, in spiritual adventure, because in the spiritual world there, there are also dangers. Daarom moet je het verifiëren en de juiste instructies hebben, want in de spirituele wereld zijn vele gevaren. At the time of transmission, uh, God power will protect you from that day on. And so nothing can happen to you and all the experiences will be very clear to you and we will tell you how to identify whether it's God or whether it's from the negative power. Uh, tijdens de transmissie zal je steeds uh, Gods kracht bij je hebben. En we zullen je ook vertellen um, de, de juiste richtlijnen. That's why it takes uh, like uh, one or two hours. Otherwise enlightenment is like this. <laughs> Daarom neemt het enkele uren, anders uh, verlichting is onmiddellijk. Enlightenment uh, is just a second, but uh, uh, because you have to continue your process of knowing your complete self every day, little by little every day. So we have to tell you about the many tricks and traps and give advice on the spiritual journey so that you can uh, help yourself at home alone. And you uh -huh. don't need to always uh, ask me. Uh, verlichting is onmiddellijk, maar daarna moet, uh, moet je steeds meer weer praktiseren om het vol, uh, vol te houden en uh, verder te groeien. But of course you can always ask me later if you are not clear yet because in the beginning maybe you have a few questions it will be clear to you later uh, after some time of practice in the beginning you want to ask me questions you can write or you know you can come see me sometimes because uh, sometimes we we make a gathering you know everyone who has questions can come see me and then I answer all of them you know individually one by one Yes. In het begin zou je misschien veel vragen hebben en kun je schrijven naar mij. Maar later zullen deze vragen verminderen. En totdat je geen vragen meer hebt. At that time only you can come, no, nobody else can. That's why we will give you an ID card. And only you can come talk to me individually. If we maar, don't know ID card, you, you cannot come there. Not for me, because the guards and you know other people. Maar alleen jij kan komen en daarom heb je een. Uh, identiteitskaart en uh, anders zullen ze je niet uh, bij mij binnenlaten. Because spiritual business is only between two of us, you know, not uh, concerning other people, so uh, you will come alone. Want spirituele zaken is uh, tussen ons je twee, niemand anders uh, in, in zaken. Daarom moet je alleen komen. Okay. Yeah, next one, please. Uh, verwacht u de spoedige wederkomst? Yeah, but it costs nothing, eh? It costs nothing. Uh, het kost niets. <laughs> All the questions now, From today, uh, anything I teach you, anything I do for you, all free, free. Alle vragen vandaag en alles wat ik in de toekomst voor je doe is uh, allemaal gratis. But you have to pay for your ticket, though. <laughs> je moet wel voor je ticket ook betalen. Sometimes, sometimes I pay. <laughs> <laughs> Soms uh, yeah. moet ik ook betalen. Yeah. Some, some people don't have money. I pay for them to be really. Sommige mensen hebben geen geld. Ik betaal voor hen yeah, they really om te need, komen. Yes, sometimes we do. But most, yeah. But most of the time, after initiation, everybody becomes so intelligent. They work well, they earn more money, and everybody <laughs> takes care of themselves wonderfully. Maar meestal, na die initiatie, worden mensen wijzer en dan kunnen ze beter voor zichzelf zorgen.
Verwacht u de spoedige wederkomst van de Christus, zoals velen dat doen. Do you expect the, the, coming, the future coming of Christ, zoals many of us do? No, I don't. Uh, nee, dat doe ik niet. I know he came already. Ik weet dat hij al gekomen is. The same, you ask the same question like the Jews ask themselves when Jesus was alive. Je vraagt dezelfde vraag als dat de Joden vroegen, vroeger vroegen toen Jezus in leven was. They were waiting for the Messiah and kill the one that already came. Ze wachten op de Messia, maar ze doden de Messia die er al was. Don't do the same again. Doe niet hetzelfde terug. Hoe kunnen wij onze broeders, zusters helpen in de Balkan, Kosovo, de oorlog met de Serviërs? How can we help our brothers and sisters in the Balkan in the war uh, with Kosovo? In the what? In the, in war. the war. War in Kosovo. How can we help our brothers and sisters? In Yugoslavia? Yes. Oh, okay. There are many ways you can help. If you believe that uh, one side is bad, then you join the other side and kill them. Er zijn veel manieren. Als je denkt één kant uh, slecht is, dan moet je de andere kant tekenen en hen doden. And then his brother and sister or son will come kill you, your brother and sister, and his son kill your son, blah blah. En dan de ander zijn zoon en broeder wil, zal jouw zoon en broeder doden enzovoort. And there's another way to help is that uh, you see whoever suffer the refugees, you contribute some money for them, help their lives to become better. Er is een andere manier om te helpen als je ziet dat je broeder laat, kun je helpen geld geven of. We do that. Uh, wij doen dat. We don't join either side and don't kill anybody. We kiezen geen zijde en we doden niemand. We just help when the situation is already so bad and we just make it a little better if we can. Uh, de situatie is al zo slecht. We proberen gewoon te helpen en de situatie iets beter te maken. The best way to help is to get yourself enlightened. De beste manier om te helpen is zelf verlicht te worden. Otherwise, it might be your turn next. <laughs> Anders is het misschien uh, jouw beurt. Once you are enlightened, if you have relatives and friends, you can even pray for them better because you can tell God what you want. Wanneer je verlichting hebt, kan je bidden voor je broeders en zusters veel beter, want je kan hen zeggen waar God is. Now God also knows what you want, but you don't know what God wants. That's the problem. God weet wat u wilt, maar jij weet niet wat God wilt. That's why many prayers are not answered because God answers, but we don't hear. Daarom zijn veel gebeden niet beantwoord, want God antwoordt, maar we horen het niet. Because God talks in such a language, we have to be quiet down in order to receive it. Want God praat in zo'n uh, taal. Je moet uh, stil zijn om het te kunnen ontvangen. And we call this uh, meditation, contemplation, or quiet uh, prayer, whatever. But we have to open our contact with God first. We have to plug back in, reconnect the telephone, and then we can talk to Him, and we can receive the answer. We noemen dit uh, contact met God, maar we moeten terug contact maken, en dan kunnen we het juiste antwoord van God krijgen. Now God tells us to do one thing and we do another because we're not connected. That's that's a problem in this world. Nu zegt God ons één ding, maar we doen het andere. Dat is het uh, omdat we niet uh, verbonden zijn. Dat is het probleem in deze wereld. If the people uh, that fighting in Yugoslavia, they can contact directly to God, they would not start the war at all. God won't tell them to do that. Als de mensen in uh, Yugoslavië verbonden waren met God dan zou er geen oorlog zijn, want God zou hen zeggen dat het niet nodig was. So since it started, it has to continue uh, to some point. Nu sinds dat het begonnen is, moet het verder gaan tot een bepaald punt. Just like the engine of the car has started and is downhill, it has to run its course and then it will stop. Ja, zoals de motor is beginnen werken, het moet uh, verder lopen totdat het uitgebold is. We can help by uh, giving our loving thought and loving power, but our prayers must be powerful. And at the moment, our prayers don't have power because we are not connected with the power inside. 
We kunnen helpen met liefdevolle gedachten of met uh, gebeden. Maar het moeten sterke gebeden zijn. En onze gebeden zijn nu niet sterk genoeg omdat we geen contact hebben met God. That's why Jesus did not waste his time uh, trying to go around, stop in any wars. Buddha did not go around and trying to make peace between countries. They were busy teaching people to get enlightenment because they knew that's the only solution to any problem on this planet on any other planet in the universe. Daarom ging Jezus niet rond om uh, oorlogen te stoppen en ging Bo- Boeddha ook niet rond om vrede tussen landen te sluiten. Ze wisten dat uh, verlichting het belangrijkste was voor vrede op deze planeet en iedere andere planeet in het universum. We can help by sincere prayer, but we must be enlightened. We must be connected with this God power first. And then whatever we think will come true. Whatever we want will come true. At the moment we want something, but we don't have anything to back it up. Just like we want to buy a dress, we want to buy shoes, but we don't have money in the bank. Have money in the bank first. And then anything else you want, you can buy. We can help me to leave. Thank you. We kunnen helpen met liefdevolle gedachten, maar we moeten eerst de, de connectie hebben en de kracht erachter. En dan hebben we resultaat. Ja, yeah, ik kan zien dat talking about money, you like it. <laughs> ja, ja, praten over geld en dan uh, klap je. It is very practical. Het <laughs> is heel praktisch. Everybody understands the language. <laughs> Iedereen verstaat die taal. Yes. Ja. Hoe ga je om met vijandelijke aanvallen van personen? How you, do you deal with uh, enemy attacks of persons? How do I heal? How, how do you deal with the attacks of people? How do I deal with the attack of people? Yes. You mean me personally or generally? How does one deal? Well, again, we have to be enlightened. Waarom je moet verlicht zijn? And then you will know how. And then zul je weten hoe. Because every situation is different. Want I, I iedere situatie is anders. Yes, I cannot tell you a general guy what to do, but mostly we have to do it lovingly. Ik kan geen algemene richtlijn geven hoe het te doen, maar meestal moeten we het liefdevol doen. But because many people in this world are also not enlightened, therefore they sometimes tend to be violent. So even if you try to be gentle, it doesn't always work. Want de, de meeste mensen in deze wereld zijn niet verlicht. Dus soms als je het liefdevol probeert, uh, hebben de andere mensen de, uh, de neiging om ook gewelddadig te zijn. Ja, yeah. that's why we still have war. Dat is waarom we nog steeds oorlog hebben. And that's why everybody must be enlightened. <laughs> Dat is waarom iedereen verlicht moet zijn. As long as there are ignorant people on this planet, we still have the threat to peace. Zolang er uh, Onschuldige mensen in deze wereld zijn, hebben de drang naar vrede. Threat to peace. If there, if there is uh, ignorant people, ignorant them. Als er onwetende mensen zijn, zal er steeds dreiging, uh, uh, een dreiging voor de vrede zijn. Thank God you understand English. <laughs> Oké, okay, what next? Um, hoe is het met de moeder van de wereld? Hoe is het met uh, het hart? En wat van uh, liefde en wijsheid op, uh, op de middenweg van de Boeddha. What about the mother of the world? What about the heart? What about love, wisdom? This is the middle path of the Buddha. What about the expansion of consciousness? This is, this is a process. Yeah. I'm trying to expand your consciousness. <laughs> ja, ik probeer je bewustzijn uh, ramer te maken. Yes, I'm here to help you to expand your consciousness. And hier... you can have loving power, you can be more intelligent, happiness, well, whatever you want you have. Ik ben hier om je, uh, je bewustzijn te verruimen en liefde te geven en wijsheid. Yeah. Alles wat je wilt zal je hebben. We are talking in the same language except I know how and you don't. We praten in dezelfde taal, alleen ik weet hoe en jij weet het niet. We all talk about the flowers, except I have it here and you don't. Uh, we praten altijd over de bloemen en ik heb ze hier, maar jij hebt ze niet. Mm, nice. Yes. Mm. Uh, ben jij een heilige? Are you a saint? 
What do you think? <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Do I look like a saint to you? Zie ik er als een uh, heilige uit? No. <laughs> I don't, huh? Yeah, thanks <laughs> nee, God. <laughs> ja, dank God. If I look like a saint, I will be in more trouble. I already have enough trouble without looking like a saint. <laughs> als ik er als een heilige uitzie, zal ik meer problemen hebben. Terwijl... Yes. <laughs> It's not important that I'm a saint or not. It's important that you will be a saint. It is need. And I guarantee you will become a saint if, if I teach you. I guarantee you that you are a holy man as I teach you. Yeah, in the name of God. In the name of God. I promise. I believe it. Good-hearted viewers, we appreciate your presence today on Words of Wisdom. Please join us tomorrow for part 6 of the question and answer section of this lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai. With God's grace, may your life flourish and bloom in joy and peace. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash w-o-w.